What's up guys? Um, back here in Hanoi and uh, today I'm actually heading out of Hanoi. I'm on the west side of Hanoi going through a place called uh, Meeting where a lot of Koreans live. This place is kind of busy. It's about uh, I think 11 o'clock and I'm heading out of town west side just avoiding all the traffic while uh, vlogging and I think what you see here in the middle all these um, massive pylons it's going to be like a new kind of transport system that they're building here in Hanoi it's like their rail system that they're trying to build they've been uh, delayed a few times because of money budget and that kind of thing but it's slowly coming along and I guess it'll get rid of a lot of the congestion you see here in Hanoi. Anyway guys, let's head to the outskirts, get out of the city. Let's have a bit of a pit stop guys and check out this kind of a monument it's got like a looks like a lady and uh, she's got like a gun on the back of her and she's holding a baby in the other hand wow that's a cool statue someone's burning something over here maybe that guy over there <coughs> you can see all like military guns of the Vietnamese maybe it's because of the Vietnam War it's pretty weird but pretty cool uh, this area is called Dan Phuong Dan Phuong but check out the gun she's got on the back she's holding a like a baby in that hand and in this hand looks like what the heck is that? Looks like a cross or some kind of spade or something. No idea. But this uh, sculpture is pretty massive. And this is like the town that I'm just driving through called uh, Dan Phuong. Dan Phuong. Let's check that out. Anyway guys, thought I'd come and show you that big massive statue, sculpture. Which is pretty cool. I mean you can tell it's a woman because she's got... Anyway. I mean the, the burning and smoking thing in Vietnam. I am not sure why they smoke it up here a lot. I know out in the outskirts, uh, like in the farms and stuff like that, they burn a lot of the uh, crops that they don't use and stuff like that, but it's kind of annoying in a way, and it does contribute towards the smog, I guess it's part of their culture that they do it, but that's the way it is here in Vietnam. Back on the bike guys. Alright guys, we are just driving through a random village. Just pulled off the main highway and just coming through a village. 
so many shops here. They look like shops, but they're mostly closed. Got a paint shop. Yeah, so a gaming shop there. Looks like a kindergarten. Just your uh, random Vietnam village. You can smell paint. Maybe they're doing some painting around here. Lots of construction. Getting up to lunch time now. Want to grab something to eat. All right, we've got one way there, one way there. Let's go down this way. Drive through the, the random Vietnam village. While avoiding obstacles. Mechanic. Hair saloon which is closed uh, let's go this way just going for a random drive no idea where this place is but Cool to just explore. And all these different art. This looks like a high school. That's some pretty cool art there. Yeah. Looks like a high school in here, but it's closed. Oh, looks like we're back out on the main road. That wasn't too bad. what this town is but we'll keep going exploring all right guys I am here at a town called Sonte and um, basically it's got one of the most ancient villages here in Vietnam there's also like a old fortress here that I want to go and check out. But check out this little river which flows around the fortress which I believe is in there. So uh, yeah, let's check out some of these vibes of this old ancient village that's here in Song Te. And uh, see if we can grab some lunch as well. Just saw a lady over here selling some fruit. So we'll check out and see how much he's selling. How much is it? 1 kilogram. 1 kilogram. Uh, 1 kilogram. Ah. Okay, okay. Moi mot, 11,000 dong. So get a kilogram worth. It's one of my favorite fruits. 
jackfruit. They call it mitt here. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Three dollars. <laughs> All right, let's go and check out this village fortress over there. Wow, check out that guy. Fishing off like a seat on the other side of the uh, fence. He's king. Fishing styles here in uh, Vietnam. <laughs> this guy. So this is Song Tay. This is the fortress. So this looks like the old fortress. Maybe it was used in the Vietnam War. I have no idea. But the really good thing is, it's hardly any tourists here. Just some locals and a couple of foreigners over here. This looks like the little ponds. You can see some of the fish in there. Looks like koi, trout. Wow, there's a lot of them over here. I wonder if they eat jackfruit. Anyway, this is the old fortress here. Let's have a bit of a look around. See what we can find. This old fortress of Vietnam. So this fortress and temple has a bit of a garden around it as well, guys. Let's go and check out the garden styles. Looks like roses. Let's see if we can see any snakes. Usually snakes pile up around wood. seen a few snakes in uh, Vietnam that some of the villages have pulled out of wood. Most of them have been king cobras. And in fact, I think one lady got bitten by one and she died. And they found the king cobra and it was like five meters long. Someone's burning something over here. Ah, it's down there, I can see it. That's what I mean, they burn stuff here. Randomly, randomly burn stuff. This is how it is here in, uh, in Vietnam. Oh, cool to come amongst nature in Vietnam. It is kind of hazy here. It's probably because of that smoke. But we'll head back to the fortress soon. We'll just have a bit of a look around and see where this goes. Looks like some other bits and pieces up here that we can check out. Looks like a lotus type statue thing. A couple of planes over here. 
Let's go check those out. Helicopter, a couple of planes. Maybe they were used in the Vietnam War. And you've got to be small to hop in their plane. That's so small. Wonder if those missiles are alive. That's a massive helicopter. Damn. Huge. Huge helicopter. Look how long those blades are. Those blades are like 10 meters each side. This one's got like double barrels on it. Check that out. Do, 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 do. Wonder how many people you could fit in that. Probably fit like 20 or 30 Viets in there. So this here is a MiG-21. Now MiG-21s were manufactured in Russia and a lot of countries, I think about 50 countries worldwide used the MiG-21s uh, during the World Wars uh, and in the Vietnam War. The uh, Vietnamese used the MiG-21s to fight the Americans. The Americans were using uh, B-52 bombers and so the Vietnamese would use these. The whole Vietnam War anyway to me was like a big instigated thing which the United States created. Uh, if you do a bit of research on the Gulf of Tonkin you can find out a lot more about how it came about but from my perspective I believe that the Americans wanted access to the opium fields in Laos and in Thailand and so Vietnam was kind of blocking and uh, being the security of that area and so in order to get into the area they created a, a problem which was a war so that they could get access to those opium fields and um, export a lot of that opium back out into the states and into Mexico whole big saga big story involving the CIA and all sorts of different things involved in that but if you uh, research it up you'll find out the truth about it all I think the Americans were the big instigators of it all. Not, not really the American people, it was the people in the shadows. I call it the, um, the military industrial complex, which is controlled by a group of elitists, basically. And so they basically instigated that whole Vietnam War. All right, guys, so that was the ancient fortress here in uh, Son Tay. I just want to check out this guy fishing. Xin chào. <laughs> just check out this guy fishing over here. Fishing vibes. Xin chào. <laughs> fish, fish. You have? Ah, small ones here. I nearly stood on them. Don't rob the cradle. <laughs> this guy. Ah. Oh. Sonte. I'll grab something to eat, I think. All right, guys, we are near Duong Lang, which is Vietnam's first ancient village. Down here somewhere. Probably 
walking down this road. Check it out anyway. Sometimes Google is not very 100%. But uh, this was one of uh, Vietnam's first ancient villages where one of the Hung kings came here, I think in 761 AD. But apparently there's like really ancient temples here. So pretty much it's like the cradle of Vietnam, so to speak, where the Vietnam civilization or Vietnam culture was kind of instigated, created. Here we go, some of the old ancient temples. Sing Chao. I think it's pretty cool to come here on a motorbike and just drive around. As long as you're not crashing into anyone or harming anyone, then I think it's all good. These kids up ahead playing around. Let's see what's around this village. And if they got some tofu, grab something to eat as well. Here we go, there's a few people here in this village area. So guy doing a bit of woodwork. Bit of a lizard. of brick around this area, that's for sure. Some of the uh, architecture here is really cool. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm Amira. <laughs> thank you. I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? My name uh, is <laughs> Where are you going? Food? You you go to lunch? You make me lunch? Rice, rice, rice. Yes, rice. Rice. <laughs> this is your village, Duong Lam, Duong Lam. Duong Lam. Duong Lam, yeah. Cool, mixing and mingling with the kids here. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Let's have a look down here. I wonder what that actually means. Check out this. This guy got a bike on a motorbike. A lady, a lady who's got a bike on a motorbike. Keeps the kids around. School must be out. Yeah, a bit of a temple over here, looks like. Oh, yeah, like a pagoda. Some kind of pagoda. wonder if we let it go and check it out. Looks like some kind of old school pagoda. Take off the helmet. Let's go for a look. We will explore. 
Xin chào We will explore Check it out Oh, what is this place? I have no idea what that means. Hope it's not somebody's house. Whoa, look at those trees, guys. I forgot the name of those trees, starts with a B. Bang, bangan, bangan, bangan trees. I saw a lot of those trees in uh, Vanuatu, where the uh, brother in law is from. They are huge. I mean, this one here is kind of medium, but the ones that I saw in Vanuatu were like probably three times wider. But you got that pagoda. Pagoda vibes. Wonder. It's a dragon. It's got dragon on it. Not sure if you can see the dragons up there because of the light. Let's see if we can have a look this way. You'll be able to see the dragon sculptures. I think those are symbolic of the Hong Kings that were uh, housed up here. So apparently the Hong Kings were basically the first lot that came here to Vietnam. Some say they came from Mongolia, some say they came from China, I have no idea. But anyway, uh, this was one of the first villages that they set up here. And uh, I think it was seven, 761 AD. Xin chào. Bananas. Different plants here. This looks like a uh, another dragon symbol there. Enter the dragon. Beautiful. But check this out, dragonflies just floating around there at the top of this temple. Ah, dragon and dragonflies. Maybe that's the symbology of the dragon here is that there's a lot of dragonflies. See, even at the top of this roof here, you got dragons. name of that tree is a banyan tree. I just remembered. Banyan tree. There's lots of them around Southeast Asia. All right guys check this out. This is the main entrance into Duong Lam ancient village. Main roads right here. And this is the main entrance. So if you do come here look for this and uh, you can't miss it. 